Hey guys, I'm at my Aldi. It's time to do some fresh produce shopping. I have to look and see how much money I have. I try to shop in cash, so don't overspend. I've got $9. So, what can I do for the week or two for $9 for my meals? We're gonna find out. See you after I leave Aldi. Flour tortillas, $1.19. It just hit me. I have nine dollars, not eight. So I can get a pack of plum tomatoes for the one sixty nine, and I still have a little money left. Okay, this is what I've got. I'm heading to check out with all nine dollars and as much change as I can dig out and stuff and little things. So for this to cover it, I'll show you what I got when I get home and what I plan to do with it. Okay, here is everything that I got to make breakfast and lunch for two for the entire week. Um, some of the items I already have at home, but first to show you my receipt, I am so proud of myself, $9.09. .09. Now I know I said $9, but I dug out a little bit of change from the bottom of my purse. Things like potatoes, I don't buy very often. Um, I keep those on hand. When I go to Sam's, they will have them sometimes marked down to $5. And what I do is I save them, I store them like I did on the farm. So I have this basket, and on the bottom layer is a row, is a piece of newspaper, a row of potatoes, newspaper. Here's the other row of potatoes, and if you look, there's space between each potato. You don't want them crammed in. And then another row with potatoes on top. And I've had these for quite a while, and they're doing really well. The other thing you may or may not have noticed is I'm going to pull them over here so you can actually see them. They're usually hanging off to the side, but, ah, uh, look in there. Look at there. My onions. Those are my onions that go up the side of my pantry locker come down to here. And what you do is you make sure your onions are dry. This is a pair of penny hose. You make sure you wash them, new, old, wash them really, really well two or three times. And you just tie a knot between each one and they just hang and it helps the air circulate. And as long as it's not too dark or too light or too cold or too warm, they won't wither, they won't sour or mush or rot or anything and they won't even sprout. So these have been here for a while. So I won't be using a lot of these in the meal. Um, not so much potatoes this week. But I'm about to prepare our meals for the week and show you what we're going to have. I'm defrosting chicken. I'm starting my rice. Bell peppers and onions generously tossed with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Going into a 420 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Defrosted frozen peppers and hollowed out for stuffing. Now cleaning up a little cabbage and I love. And starting to steam the broccoli. The chicken's ready to go into the oven. Season some with taco seasoning, chili seasoning, lemon pepper, and a couple of just black and black pepper and salt. So out the roasted vegetables in with the chicken. Oh, that's a little difficult. And turning the heat down. And bake that till it's done. Okay, dish number one, we have a burrito bowl. Rice as a base, chicken sliced, corn, black beans, and grilled veggies as a side in baggies so we can take them out before we heat them. Lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Meal number one. I'm wrapping the last turkey, egg, and cheese on English muffin for breakfast. Small pot of elbow mac and macaroni for mac and cheese. Larger pot of penne for chicken pesto pasta. Macaroni and cheese and broccoli on both. Lemon pepper chicken for him. 
black pepper chicken for me. Chicken basil pesto pasta and sweet potato. Fajitas and stuffed bell peppers. Okay, all done. Five lunches for two, breakfast sandwiches and bananas for breakfast. Have a good week.